Harry decided to buy Valentine's Day presents for his wife and his co-worker. He purchased a necklace and a CD, costing him a total of $185. The necklace cost $141 more than the CD. How much did each gift cost? Again, we're always going to start by reading the problem. You might want to pause and read it a second time or a third time. But make sure that you understand the situation before you move on. In this case, Harry bought two presents, and we need to figure out how much each of them cost. So we're going to start with our let statements. We know the two things we're looking for are the cost of the necklace and the cost of the CD. We need one of those to be X, and the other one we're going to write in terms of X. Notice the sentence that says the necklace cost $141 more than the CD. That tells us something about the necklace, but we don't know anything about the CD. So because the CD is the thing that we know absolutely nothing about, the cost of the CD is going to be our X. Let's let the cost of the CD be X. And then we need an expression for the cost of the necklace. So let the cost of the necklace be, and we have to write that in terms of X. Well, they tell us the necklace cost $141 more than the CD, but we know the CD was X dollars, so if we have $141 more than that, it's going to be X plus 141. Now we have let statements that represent each of the unknown quantities in terms of our variable X. We need to write an equation that models the situation at this point, and the one piece of information we haven't used yet is that when he purchased the necklace and the CD, they cost a total of $185. So if we add the costs of the two items together, we should get 185 as the total. Well, we know that the CD cost X dollars. And if we add to that the cost of the necklace, well, the necklace is X plus 141. So that's going to be X plus 141. And we know that when we add those together, the total cost was $185. So we can set this equal to 185. Sometimes students get a little confused at this point, if it's their first time solving word problems. Sometimes students ask, why are there two X's? Well, the first X came from the cost of the CD, and then the cost of the necklace was X plus 141, so that second X comes from the cost of the necklace, and when we add them together, we end up getting 185 in total, which is why we set that sum equal to 185. And again, once we have our equation, we can solve for the variable. We'll combine like terms on the left-hand side. x plus x is 2x, so we have 2x plus 141 equals 185. If we want to get the variable term alone, we can subtract 141 from both sides. That leaves us with 2x on the left because the 141's cancel. And on the right, we have 185 minus 141, which ends up being 44. So now we have 2x equals 44. And if we want to solve for x, we need to divide both sides by 2. And that tells us that x equals 22. We'll go back up to our let statements now. The first one, let the cost of the CD be X. Well, we now know X is 22, and in this case, it's a dollar amount. So X is $22. The cost of the necklace was X plus 141. So we have to take 22 
and add it to 141. We can do this off to the side if we can't do it in our head. 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 4 is 6. We've got the 1. So the cost of the necklace ends up being $163. And we always end by stating the conclusion. The question they asked was how much did each gift cost? And we conclude the CD cost $22 and the necklace cost $163. And that's our final answer.